Hey guys, me again. I'm going to show you guys some of my best vehicles I got for rigs and rods. And that will be some of the trucks that I got. And these are um, the trucks that are meant for pulling heavy loads. As in the MAN TGX 4.1540 Semi. This is a triple axle, rear axle. And then I got more like these ones, but this BBD V10 is very laggy. You can barely drive with it, it's so slow, but I'll show you guys anyways. So, it has 1500 torque, so it may seem strong, but it's super slow. Like, it's just horrendously slow. But they have a very nice interior on it, like, there's career view in the dashboard that's one thing that's good about it but otherwise it's really slow so I'm gonna just remove it and it goes away pretty fast because it's something that does like that um just this is a good map there's lots of rock climbing spots it's rock climbing heaven so if you have like a dodge truck that's meant for off-roading and doing the rock climb it's good like this one this one is pretty good but they didn't really make it worthwhile because they had the rear axle set too low at first then the update came and then it made it a bit better but they said it's supposed to be a trophy truck but it works pretty well for doing off-roading and mountain climbing the suspension was fixed as well they made it so that when you go up a rock the tire will actually form with the rock and it won't go 10,000 feet up in the air and break your axle like, it just goes with it but for some reason today it doesn't look like it's working I don't think I took the right one but this is the US Army pack, that's why it looks like that. Otherwise they would have had just a black truck. And then you can go climbing with it, but it doesn't do the best. It'll spin because your differ differentials won't work as well as it should. But we'll try going off roading. I don't know. This one looks this is one of the hardest ones. So, I don't know, maybe we might get up it, maybe not. It can't even make up the first rock, that's the best part. This, I think this is the one that takes, requires to go from the top and down. Because with a Chevy S10 off-road version, I went up there with no problem. So, I'm not going to bother trying it because I know it's not going to make it up. If they never would have made the front bumper as it was, it angles it for, I guess, an engine under under guard protection. But otherwise, it's pretty good. I did races with it, but it's not a mesh body, so if you crash into a wall, the front end or whatever you hit won't like bend in or anything. It won't seem like real crashes, but. See, it just hits the wall, it doesn't do anything to this front. But I do have several vehicles by Gabster. He makes one of the best on rigs rod form for vehicles. He has BMWs, Ford, 49 Coupes, and then just several other vehicles like SUVs and car truck things. I'm going to grab one right now. I'll grab a BMW. Um, in my opinion, my the best one. Um, the G2R. Yes. These things are fairly good. They have a good handling and all that. But another problem with these things is the braking. You can put the brakes on if you're doing 140 kilometers an hour and you put the brakes on, 
it's just gonna slide if you had different vehicles. I think I have um on my I have to say the Omega 10 the brakes are perfect like you can step on the brakes like this and it will just slowly come to a stop but this car it's a street racing car it's meant for drifting so it's not going to perform the best of the best but it will do stuff if you want it to and as you can see this is a mesh body the bumpers are already caving in from hitting a bump and if I come up here and hit something like these rocks up ahead the whole entire car should smash if I am doing the correct speed here we go mesh body right there hit a rock destroyed the front end of the car Oh, and now it flipped over again. But yeah, these are mesh bodies will lag a bit more because they require like the actual flexing beams in them. This is the these are what the beams look like. People build these, so it must be pretty confusing. From that to that, then they have different. These are what the maps would look like if they're in all in beam form as well and then there's dot beams or no the dots are the connecting joints all those dots there were the from the connecting so if you, every time you put a dot down you'd have to have a beam connect to it and if you had one beam or one dot you could only have a beam but if you had another beam and two dots you could have a complete beam because you'd have to add both of them together to get both of them my favorite car from all time so far is the lego car these were released last week i have to say they are fairly cool they could have made up a bit better in my opinion but because if you press alt l the bottom drops out. I don't know what that even does. Like what, how it makes it off-road mode. But another bug with this thing is if you back up to pick this thing up and you don't even press Alt-L it already magically picks it up. Like what's that? But anyways now if you press O it locks up the front wheel undercarriage underneath it. I'll see if I can get a thing underneath. I'll just flip the truck over by clicking and dragging. Well, since there's no beams up on top, it doesn't seem. Well, anyways, on the bottom there's um, rods like you would see anywhere else in any other car, but just that lock up when you press O to make it four-wheel drive mode now we'll just show what it looks like to have a non-mesh car smash a mesh car and that would look like this no damage to the non-mesh because it's solid ro uh, solid beams and then not the other one isn't so one will flex if it hits and one won't and then if you do have two mesh vehicles so let's just say we have the Omega 6 or better yet a Gabriel's had a crawler my favorite vehicle of all time these cars are so cool they are well the crawlers are my favorite without it being raised it looks really ugly but these are sweet. Now let's have two mesh vehicles hit and now we'll cause a big accident. But not even going fast, so maybe not. Oh, this vehicle's bumper just came off. And if you hit anything that has a mesh body, 
pieces will come off, axles will bend and break. And if you have too high quality of vehicles, like if I had spawned in five of these new trucks and I only had maybe three of those red cars, then I would end up having such a laggy game that if I hit a mesh vehicle with another mesh vehicle, the whole entire game would crash. And that always happens to me when I have some fun with monster trucks and cars, as I will make in my next video. That will be coming up within the weekend, and this week, well, tomorrow's Friday, so tomorrow, or the weekend, whenever I have time. And if you guys would like the download for the the ZR thing I'm driving right now, I will have it in the description. It has opening doors and differentials that lock, split, and split is just street, and then locked is for off-roading, so that your tires will not spin. For an example up here. Alright, here we go. So, just put the differentials on to lock, make sure they're on. And keep it in first gear, because when you're going rock climbing, never speed. Or you can cause an accident. This thing's really good. And if you want another amazing map to download, or go off-roading with or water bogging whatever you prefer to do it comes with the game and it's called trail desert trails there's a FPS one and a non FPS the FPS will make it less laggy the graphics will be a bit lower and you can always change up that by going to your settings oh and another thing is if you hold the bracket keys beside the P and the uh, underneath the backspace. How you get the PSI button up there, that is for tire pressure. If you have it all the way to the lowest, your tire will be deflated. It'll be like American US Summers for the Army. If you're crawling up rocks, you put it lower and go slow. And stuff like that. But yeah, you can get those. In, you can get a thing off the repository where you can get both of those for more air and less air. But I don't really use it because I don't really have it that often that I go climbing rocks and all that. But this is the map rock climbing heaven. If you guys want to download, I'll also have that in the download in the description for the download. And this game is free, so. If you're wondering where to get it, just go to rigsarod.com. They have top left corner of the page, big green sign that says download here, Mac and Windows. So if you also, I'll put that in the download or the description for the download is that as well. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.